Hi everyone, this is Dizzy or Classy Aspie, depending where you're watching me from. And I wanted to talk a little bit about Lisk, also known as Unsub, also known as Long Island Serial Killer. Um, there's been a lot of theories about the identity of this man who has uh, caused lots of bodies to be found around Long Island, especially off of certain highways. There's a lot you can find online from crime sleuths, you know, other, other than me, um, that goes into a lot of detail. And I'm sitting in the car, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because I'm about to go somewhere. Um, and I've made other videos about this, so check it out. Um, one of the popular theories is that it is ex-chief Burke, who has been disgraced. And is actually in jail and has been caught in jail with oxycodone, etc. I mean, he's beat hookers and, you know, he's he's treated sex workers badly like a lot of Suffolk County police have. And like a lot of police and people in general do. And they get away with it because if you're law enforcement and you're a, a sex worker and you're getting beat by the cops, what are you going to do? Call the cops? That's why missing persons who are sex workers are bottom of the totem pole as far as who's going to be looked for. Um, it's almost like you get points as a human being for being wealthy, having money, but we all know this. And that's a different topic. Oh. Anyway, Burke, Chief, Chief, what you been up to? Uh, if it's Burke, that's very, um, it's realistic if he's the Long Island serial killer. He had the power to get away with it. Um, if you string enough people up, like marionettes, that you've got control over, like a chief does, you can get away with a whole lot. Um, so it does make sense, and a lot of it does add up. However, things adding up that's circumstantial and until there's real evidence as far as what happened to the Gilgo Beach girls um what happened to you know as far as that girl getting a call from supposedly the killer you know to get away with such an orchestrated long-lived thing as police chief you got to have people strung up by their toes who have got something they you know they got to suck up to you for but I'm not here to necessarily talk about that. We know the guy's a psychopath. We know he's at least, if he's not super intelligent, he's super sly. There's different types of intelligence. But, man, if it's the chief, like a lot of people think, there's been graffiti popping up all over New York City um, saying, you know, Bart killed the Gilgo girls and all that. And I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying, what more evidence do we have and how do we get it? if it's being buried because he was the chief. I mean, he, you know, he kind of rejected help from the FBI for the list case and all this other stuff. And, you know, that can go like several ways. That can be a pride issue of, I don't want to be shamed for not keeping up with what I need to be keeping up with as chief for letting all this go undetected. Or the other way is we got it handled I'll, I'll be sure my men are on it. I've got good men in my department. Oh, by the way, detective, you know, I heard you got a kid trying to get a job in the, as a, you know, on the force, and if you don't do what I say and look the other way on certain things, he might end up with a bag of cocaine in his car during a random traffic stop. You know, police chiefs have access to a lot you know, schedules, all this other stuff. So, while it's a nice theory, I need more evidence to say, yeah, definitely. Um, and I will be snooping around in December on Long Island. So, Lisk, if you're watching this, see you later, buddy. Um, see you in December if you want to get together for a Christmas party. Um, you know, I heard Gilgo Beach is nice. Uh, so, if it's not him, there are other theories, some of which these people are in jail, like Burke. Some of these people still, act, you know, out and about doing their thing. Um, 
I think by now he's probably changed his disposal methods a bit. I also think there are two serial killers, one of which does not stay on Long Island but has flirted with Long Island and that's where the bodies are utterly strung out along the highway. So that's a little bit of a different MO. And our guy, Lisk, is a little too calculated, a little too organized to be stringing stuff along the highways, you know. So, you know, there's a lot of theories on who it is. There's been people who have inserted themselves into cases, and a lot of these people do it repeatedly, saying, you know, yes, I know who it is, or it was me, or, you know, when one of the girls was ringing the doorbell and was supposedly brought in by this one guy who turned out to repeatedly insert himself into cases, and his wife was like, I never saw this girl. So, this is aimed kind of at people who can understand what I'm talking about without me reading off names necessarily, um, because I'm just thinking about it in the car. Uh, who do you think it is? Do you think it's Burke? If not, why? And do you think it's any of the people that's been listed as suspects? If not, why? And if he hasn't been caught at all yet, why not? And how do we catch him, especially if he's still involved in law enforcement? And if not involved in law enforcement, how he's so sly? And how do we stop this barrage of treating sex workers like they're not human beings, especially if they're brown sex workers? And this is not a political agenda here. This is something that caused Green River Killer to get away with things for as long as he did. It's one of the reasons Ted Bundy got caught is because he did not go after sex workers. If he'd gone after sex workers, he could still be around, you know, walking, hobbling on a cane, knocking them out, you know? So, what do you think? What do we do? And what are your theories? Just open-ended conversation about Lisk I'm trying to get started here so uh and Lisk if you're watching hopefully I'll see you in December